Hey everyone, and hi Rina, welcome back from South Africa. Hi guys, I came back a little bit updated as you can see <laughs> with a new device uh, that's Apple Vision Pro, so today uh, we will have fun with that, I hope. <laughs> it definitely looks very much different from how we saw you last time, and we had these powers for a couple of weeks in our show. I hope you enjoyed your time in Africa, and tell us maybe a little bit, what did you see? Oh my god, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> so that's my uh, virtual avatar, and now you can see me also like in the virtual version. Oh my god, you changed I, I that much. <laughs> So now we have our virtual guru of crypto trading and investment without any investment advice, of course, but now you are talking to us uh, directly from some uh, crypto space, right? Actually from the moon, from the but moon. I will show you later. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, yeah, uh, welcome back and welcome back to everyone who maybe missed us during these couple of weeks. And uh, we have so, so many news uh, uh, to discuss uh, and talk about today. Um, and first of all, I hope everyone who is trading on spot or even leverage uh, tried and did your best to keep you in the positions. And you were not liquidated because all of us saw a significant dip uh, of uh, Bitcoin price and all altcoins. Uh, they went down and not even one time during these two weeks. Uh, we saw leverage flashes and we saw uh, real deep, at least uh, how many experts call it. Um, so, Ira, that is definitely something we should uh, start with. Um, did you uh, saw what is going on when you were so far away? Yeah, yeah. L lucky me, uh, I was out of my position because it was holidays for me and vacation time. Um, but, yep. I think we have a lot of uh, topics to discuss today, especially on the chart. And uh, also uh, an interesting fact, uh, during the last couple of weeks, I had plenty of calls with various crypto VCs, uh, and it's fascinating how their opinions differ. So, for example... Oh, really? Yes, yes. Uh, one VC was talking me, uh, telling me that, oh, come on, bull market did not even start yet. And uh, he literally said, I do not know if it will start uh, in the nearest couple of months. Another guy uh, told um, the VC from UK uh, is absolutely sure we have enough time for the bull market until the autumn 2025. That is quite positive, right? If we have such yeah. a long bull market. Uh, another one told uh, that we have around 10 months of bull market. Uh, mm -hmm. And also I saw a lot of FUD in Twitter that, oh, oh my God, we are already in the middle of the bull market and we have a couple oh. of months left. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I would say uh, we would face bull market, really huge bull market uh, during the next 12 months. So my prediction is up to the end of March 2025, we would see huge bull market and uh, my personal bet so the price of the bitcoin would be higher than 130,000 per bitcoin um, but I would suggest us to jump directly to the chart oh yeah <laughs> so guys welcome to the moon and how it looks so we are oh, at the moon right now um yeah Guys, do you see a, we are in here the is moon. Earth? <laughs> At least one of us is there. Ira is there. <laughs> and tell us in the comments, did you experience this uh, VR glasses yourself? Do you have them or do you plan to buy them? Or if you have any questions, drop in the comments and Ira will share with you her immersed experience. Uh, yeah, so first of all, I use this um, space to trade because I love it a lot. And as you can see, it shows uh, charts really clearly and uh, you can see everything here yeah hi <laughs> hi Nelly <laughs> welcome so cool. to my working space yeah I know I know guys I know that's mind-blowing actual experience so here I just can show you my chart by the way it's a really great experience to trade in VR because um, you're not interrupted by all the stuff you're surrounded by and actually here uh, you can see the user experience of um, manipulating with chart are really great. So, um, ta -da -dum, back to my favorite chart. You saw it already a few times, and I will show again because actually, uh, what we're seeing now on the Bitcoin, 
Um, that's a chart with um, horizontal lines of uh, our halving. So we are in the pre-halving season now. And I also marked all the previous uh, pre-halving seasons. And as you can see, we saw every time small corrections. I told you already uh, about this correction in the previous videos. So um, I would say we are again uh, in this pre-halving correction. And uh, let's go directly to the levels uh, where we can be um, and by, where we can stop this correction. So first of all, as you can see, a black line uh, showing the next potential level uh, around about 53K of the Bitcoin. Also, we have another level uh, somewhere here, I would say, on the level of 43,000 roundabout. And also the next level where I would be happy to see Bitcoin, but I'm not sure <laughs> if you can see it somewhere here. Um, yeah, it's a level of uh, 32, 33,000. So, um, wait, wait, wait. Does nobody mean, knows. Yeah, that does it mean that you believe the deep is not over yet? The pre halving correction is not finished. Yeah, I think it's not over. Oh. And those are levels where I would buy all the altcoins and the Bitcoin as well um, if we would see this level. So, like step by step, I would buy their, um, all the altcoins I didn't buy before or mm. I have. Not not so uh, many in my portfolio. So three levels. Um, more likely, we would see not so a uh, big dip because of institutional players uh, who are already on the market. Uh, but anyway, um, yeah, we we see this correction. The main reason why we see this correction because the previous high uh, was here on the level uh, similar to the current level, as you can see. And uh, why we, we see this correction? Because a lot of people bought Bitcoin on a high and they would like to sell even in the, to, to cash out uh, some money because it was like two years ago already and some people need money uh, urgent. That's why we see this correction. So that people start to fix their uh, positions and also for all those uh, who bought Bitcoin somewhere here, uh, in this period, they also try to um, fix their profit because they made already uh, like 4x, for example. Um, that's what the reason why we normally see the corrections on the market. Um, so that's talking about the Bitcoin. Uh, another um, good idea, what I want to show you, it's a timing of our bull market. So how we normally calculate uh, for how long would be um, our uh, bull market. First, oops, oops. Uh, first of all, we can see the previous uh, duration of the uh, bull market here. You can see um, 24, 25 bars was the first bull market. Uh, it was uh, around about 760 days. The next bull market um, in 2016 was uh, the duration was 853 days, then 852 days. So if we um, predict that the whole uh, bull market from the bottom up to the up uh, would be uh, similar to the previous uh, ones, then we expect that the end of this bull market would be in March 25, as you can see. Um, that's why I think um, we have one year to earn money. And as you can see also on my curve, uh, the red line showing the uh, potential um target where can we be uh, at this period and the potential target for now uh, run about 170k so uh, that's why i predict this year we would see uh, higher than 100k per bitcoin and going back to the smaller uh, chart and smaller time frame oh my god so here uh, you can see why i think the correction is not over because we are still in the um, channel which going down and until we are be behind um, below this line, the resistance line, uh, we cannot say the correction is over. So uh, let's wait until we cross this line and the price would be higher than 66,000. Um, and after then we can say that the bull market continues and the correction is over. That's oh what I can say about god. the Bitcoin. Oh my god. Okay. Uh well, 
small advice for those who have leverage you should get out of your positions it seems so it, at least it would be safer because i was I, I was silly and greedy, to be honest. I, I do a small uh, leverage trading and uh, we had already a few times when altcoin market recovered and when positions became green again. Uh, but instead of closing it, as some people advised, I decided that, oh, come on, maybe the deep is over. Again. Ah, Nelly. <laughs> I remember last time you asked my opinion yes. about your position. Yeah. Yes. So unfortunately, a lot of people are too greedy and they don't think about uh, risk in this moment that's why every time um when you're like experienced trader you have to think about both possible options we can go up we can go down in both directions and you have to prepare this plan what would you do in both situation in advance i think that is true but uh maybe you can give as experienced trader give us a personal advice how to uh, get this you know nerve cells and yourself under control because it's very very hard you know it you already experienced it when you started i would give several advices uh, first make a decision on uh, which side are you what what is your uh, current uh, strategy so there are several on the market which uh, works perfectly first of all that's whole uh, bind hold this hold hodl position and i think for the next year there would be no other options uh giving you more profit that than buy and hold unless you are like 10 years on the market and you know how to trade how to be digin and stuff like that so if you have like mm, some money already uh into the crypto don't sell it don't restake it i think uh all this defy um platforms it's also like high risk when you restake, and especially with those um, liquidity staking and restaking of Ethereum, for example, that's a dangerous game because you never know uh, what what are like bugs on the uh, particular platform. You never know uh, what where would be your um, uh, liquidation, mm -hmm. and that that makes new risks for you for your portfolio. That's why if you are with uh, a lot of money and you want to have less risk and more money in the end of uh, this bull market, please buy and hold. That's it. Uh, just be, uh, make sure that you know your uh, keys from, from your wallets. You don't hold all your crypto on Binance or any other platform, uh, centralized platform. I mean, uh, try to uh, put everything in different uh, Texas, if you need to buy some shit coins, for example, which are only on the Texas available. Um, and that's it. So the second strategy for the, this bull market, when you have less money and you want to play, okay, make a second uh, box uh, for, for you. If you need this um, experience, you need this feeling on the market, you want to play, you want to uh, have uh, adrenaline and stuff like that. Okay, just, uh, I don't know, uh, set up for you some amount that you are under the risk. On, on this position and then you can play you can be ditching you can restake you can i don't know uh go with uh some leverage like 2x maximum my advice don't go more in this case you would have a secure deposit uh which is in hold position but you also are in the market and you can play for some uh, particular amount of your money and the second search strategy uh it's when you are more experienced you want to play with um, trading and stuff like that so that's also a strategy uh there are a lot of airdrops uh i don't know retro drops and blah 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 so you can take a part for smaller amount of money i would say not more than 10 percent of your portfolio uh, which you can deposit into uh coin list projects and other stuff on the market and uh, that is a very good advice how to keep your money because uh it's not one goal to make money uh on the bull market it's relatively easy and uh, even without yeah. a huge experience or inside you can make money just by holding as Irina said but very people uh, screw the second uh, goal is uh keeping your money 
your earnings. So this is the most important. And by the way, I followed your advice from the last video to at least uh, low down the leverage. And that is the only thing that helped me not to get liquidated during this dip. So thanks so much for this. Speaking about altcoins, you also mentioned that uh, uh, you are expecting good entries uh, to altcoins. And uh, maybe I just um, show uh, a screen briefly. Uh, this is the chart, uh, the monthly chart uh, of uh, uh, the tokens that performed the uh, best of all uh, during the last 30 days. And we see that there are a lot of mem coins. Uh, you know that there is some memcoin mania uh, mm -hmm. nowadays. By the way, why uh, do you have any opinion, expert opinion, why uh, this Bitcoin ma money is happening? Why Pepe uh, Dog with Hat, Floki, uh, Dodge, and uh, others are performing so well? Why people go there? Honestly, I have no idea. That's like magic for me because I would say it's kind of uh, gambling. I would buy some tokens and maybe it goes up and I'm rich. That's it. Like a lottery. <laughs> uh, since uh, there are no fundamentals, utilities or whatever else, but a lot of people love them, enjoy them. And yeah, that is what we see on the chart. But let's let's take a look on some of this um, token. I would prefer to go on the chart of Ton token, if you don't mind. Yeah, and definitely. Let's... And uh, Ton performed like, very very good 140 percent during these months uh that is impressive and i know you have uh, some nice uh, tone chart as well in your moon uh yeah last time uh, when we had discussion with our previous speaker i bought tone on a level when where you can see 2.1 that was my buying position here uh, so i marked it on the chart uh the reason why i did this trade because of the um tone chart and as you can see it looks like uh, um Oops. You are not sharing it the looks, screen. It looks like, oh. We are again on the moon. So, oh my God. Yeah, that welcome back. Welcome entry? back. That was your entry? That was my entry at uh, 2.1. You can see a um, green green line that from our previous video. So, as you can see, Tone uh, is still uh, showing this position um, in the triangle. And we just broke up through the uh, resistance. And where is our target for, especially for my position? So you, if you um, would like to know, and you were so lucky to buy together with me, Ton, after our previous video, the target price, which is somewhere on the level of 10 bucks. So I would exit Ton on 10 bucks. More likely, we would see some small correction from here up to the uh, current support and previous resistance and go up like this. So if you guys would see the correction, I would suggest to buy somewhere here, uh, the tone on the price of 2.7 and like this. Mm -hmm. And after that exit uh, on the level of 10. If we don't see this correction, maybe potentially if you're like a um, long time holder of tone, um, maybe you can also um, mark 10 bucks as a target for some small exit from position for example i would exit like 20 percent of my position uh, on this level and hold for the next profit like this what do you think nilly i think you are very smart to follow uh to follow the previous video theme and uh to buy ton just before it skyrocketed it, it sounds amazing you already made like two three x right exactly awesome and uh yeah uh, those who missed this trade, uh, yeah, think about what Ira just said. Uh, wait, uh, well, again, about greediness. <laughs> I usually always wait until the price. If I missed the good entry, I always wait until it go down, goes down and uh, then enter the position. Um, so, yeah, it looks really cool. Uh, tell us, what other altcoins are you bullish about? Let's just say I would wait until the end of current correction. So the uh, mark for me would be the Bitcoin price, as you said in the uh, as I said in the beginning. So uh, as soon as we see uh, some level and maybe like bounce from this level, I would enter other altcoins. So hopefully, uh, our, you would uh, see in our next video uh, this period. And I would say, like guys, the correction is over. Let's jump into the market and buy uh, full pockets of uh, altcoins. So does it mean that on the next video we can expect some list of uh, let's say top uh, three top five altcoins. Yeah, that... guys. Oh, that... in this moment, you have to say subscribe and don't miss the next video. <laughs> subscribe to this video, 
smash the like button and tell us in the comments what questions do you have and what altcoins are you mostly bullish about? Ira, that's so cool uh, that you promised us the next show dedicated to altcoin uh, choice, yeah, and how to choose uh, the right altcoins to enter. And also, uh, if we can promise, uh, after our previous videos, a lot of uh, people reached out and asked, uh, what is the difference between a leverage flesh out and the real deep, and how to understand if it is the short term uh, flesh out or if it is uh, uh, the real um mid-term uh, deep on the market so would be so cool if you open our eyes on this um, idea for the next video guys so if you have any other topics you want to discuss and uh, know more a little bit uh comment in the un under the video thank you so much uh, for this journey to the moon together with you and giving sharing with us this experience uh, that was really cool experiment further and uh yeah tell us uh, if uh, you like it and uh, if it helps you to be more connected with the crypto spirit <laughs> <laughs> and within crypto charts yeah yeah thanks Nelly for this experience and uh, yeah let's go forward with our show guys let us know please uh, what uh, you like what you don't like and also please we need your support yes don't forget to smash the like button and see you next week see you ciao